Hi guys, it's me back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my Premier League predictions, and also in another video I'm going to do the Championship ones. Um, firstly, basically, so I have some shout outs. It's basic. I have three. I'm going to do quickly. I have um, Frax Humphreys. He's a uh, Frax Humphreys. Mr. Gaming and Rooster YT. They're both they're all very good YouTube channels and I recommend you to go and subscribe to them. Um so yeah. Well let's get started into the video. Oh crap. Right, starting off in twentieth, we have Brighton. And why I put Brighton in twentieth is because the players are getting old. The old Glen Murray Bruno Soltar's retired. Glenn Murray's like 35. Solly March, he's coming up to 30, I'm pretty sure. Shane Duffy and um, Lewis Dunk, I think they're also like... They're not the youngest. Like, the team is not young, and they don't have good backups. Like, the backup striker for Glenn Murray is bloody Andone, who's probably... Who scored less goals than, like, um, less goals than a drunk man playing a goddamn charity match? Um, so yeah, not twentieth is Brighton. They're just not that great. They're just pretty crap. Next on, we're going to nineteenth and. We have Southampton. Southampton, yes, they got a good manager. They got good players in Danny Ings, who they permanently signed. Charlie Austin, Ward Prowse, they have. Like, they have Che Adams, who they signed. I, I completely rate him. He's sick. But I just don't think Southampton have, the, have it, to be honest. Right, so that's why, yeah. Next, we're going into 18th, and it's Newcastle, who are a good team, but now they got Steve Bloody Bruce in charge, like Jesus. He nearly drove Aston Villa at the beginning of last season into the goddamn, the goddamn League One, which is just disgraceful. But, so yeah, that's why I'm... And Salomon Rondon... Not that great. They signed Jerry Linton, but he's not that great either. Like their signings have been ugh, just meh, ugh. And Mike Ashley's not gonna spend anything over a goddamn. Not gonna spend anything over thirty million. So that's just great. And so yeah, that's why I put Newcastle in eighteenth. Now on to seventeenth. Speaking of Aston Villa, we got Aston Villa in 17th. They have a good team, but like, they're very solid in the defence and midfield areas. But the attack, it's not that great. Jack Grealish in that, yeah, Jack Grealish is good in that midfield and that central attack and midfielder, but I don't know, it's not that great. Oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Oh crap. Now on to 16th, who also came up with Aston Villa. Sheffield United. Sheffield United, they have got good players. Um, by the way, guys, also, this is being recorded before the end of the transfer window because literally today they signed a striker, Ollie McBurney from Swansea, who's a decent player, but. And also, Sheffield United also got Billy Sharp. And that's about it. There's nothing that, like, amazing about Sheffield United. Apparently the defence is meant to be pretty good. So, yeah. Next up in 15th, we have Burnley. And Burnley are... Well, they finished 15th last season. They should be happy with that. With Ashley Barnes and Chris Wood scoring pretty much, no, Ashley Barnes, Chris Wood, and Tarkowski, 
pretty much the only people scoring goals. Um, I don't know. It's not like great. Um, there's not since that seventeen last season, seventeen eighteen pre season. It's yeah. No, so ever since the after the seventeen eighteen season when they finished seventh, they uh, yeah they finished fifteenth and I think they're gonna finish finish fifteenth again. Next up in fourteenth we have Bournemouth. Bournemouth they had a brilliant start to the season, winning I think was it their first six games. And some stupid fans were saying that's all we need twenty po no lots out of the first seven games they got twenty points and then like some stupid Bournemouth fans were like that's all we need. And I think they finished like 14th, like the 14th, 13th, same sign that area. Yeah, they have Callum Wilson, but he said he's he he's probably gonna go. They they have good players. David Brooks is nice young talents, but I don't know. Next, the club I hate and despise and just. This is Watford. This is they're just. I hate them. I hate them so bad. They finished eleventh last season. See, the FA Cup final got absolutely smashed. And like Troy Deeney, I absolutely despise him. He is not that good anymore. He's trash. And De La Freire is just an overhyped Spanish striker, who's not even that great. And the defense. Don't get me started. It conceded six to Man City, and like, bro, Huddersfield conceded six to Man City, and they even scored one. Like, bro, like, s yeah. So I put the team I hate in thirteenth, um, twelfth, who finished first in the Championship last season, is Norwich. Norwich are a good team. They have Timu Puki up top. And Max Aaron's at the back. I don't think he's been sold, but yeah. So, yeah, eleven for put Crystal Palace. But this, as I said, it's not. It's not the end of the transfer window. Zaha said, "Well, yeah, he could lead the race first as Arsenal, then Chelsea, then Everton, then now apparently, goddamn Napoli put a bid in him for him for like sixty million. And they've already lost Wan Bissaka. You never know. They could lose like if they and and they're gonna might lose Zaha if they lose any more key players. I think it'd be safe to say if I put them down here. But I'm gonna put them there because Zaha's still at the club. Right now on to tenth we have Leicester. Um, the reason for Leicester is, yeah, Brendan Rodgers has got experience in players, but Jamie Vardy's not the youngest player. I know he's really great, but he's not the youngest player. Leicester fans do have to agree to me. And also, like, Harry Maguire, if he goes, like, well, their defence is so screwed, it's more screwed than Fulham last season. They were trash. Um, so next up into ninth, I put West Ham, so, uh, they've signed one really good player from Eintracht Frankfurt, Sebastian Haller, for 50 million, apart from now they haven't got much good, people saying they can finish 7th, I'm not 100% sure on 7th, but ninth is better than, like, the 10th or 11th they get normally get. Eighth, I've put Everton, who, well, they're, they're a side where they could do, it's a bit random with Everton. They haven't finished um, seventh since the 2016-2017 season. They finished, they finished eighth two seasons in a row. Like, I think eighth's the the where it's going. The highest they've ever got is only fourth. And like people say they're a big club, but what have they actually won? 
maybe an old FA Cup here or there, but like, they haven't won that much, and the the defence is not that great. Who'd even got they sold Shaggy Elka, um, but the def they got Seamus Coleman. Digne's good, but eight for Everton, I think, is fair. Next, on to seventh, we have Wolverhampton Wanderers, or Wolves. And they're a good team. They've, they finished seventh last season. I'm predicting them to finish seventh again. As again, I've been reading, people are saying they'll finish, like, eighth or ninth because they won't be able to keep up with the Europa League, like Burnley. Which I do agree with, but, like, Wolves aren't Burnley. They have depth in Raul Jimenez, Diego Jota, Ruben Neves, Jean Martinho, Ryan Bennett. Like, such, Rui Patricio, such great names, and they're, they're good. And, like, I think Wolves can cope with the Europa League, get... Decent placing, I don't know, and yeah, I don't think they're gonna finish like ninth. Now on to sixth, it's Arsenal. Arsenal, they are really good. Like they have been really, really great in the past. Their attack is great with Aubameyang and Lacazette. Their defense is not so great with goddamn Long Koscielny. Let me just say that again. Lord Cachelny is still at that club. Um, but I think sick is fair. They haven't... They've been unable to get out of this... Get out of the Europa League. This, I don't know about the 16-17 season, but the 15-16 season, they finished second. Like, now still under Arsene, Arsene Wenger, which is great. But, like, I don't know. It's just not that promising me for Arsenal. Now, on to sixth. We have... No, fifth. We have Man United. And Man United, they're trying to sell Lukaku. We're trying to sell Pogba. they got some great players in Rashford. And, um... Martial. It's not that bad. They may have signed Aaron wan and Daniel James. But the defence is still shocking. Phil Jones, Marcus Rojo, Chris, Chris Smalling are still at that club. Which is, yay, just no. It's not good. They're getting paid so much money a week. It's just, yeah, it's not good. Now on to fourth, we, we have Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea have got the two-year transfer ban, and they have got, they got before they got it, they got Christian Pulisic, who is a good player, in the, but he's, he's no Eden Hazard, to be fair, he's no Eden Hazard, and the defence is pretty decent with Chelsea, it's not going to lie, it's better than Man United and Arsenal, um, they got Aspilicueta, David Louise, he's getting a bit older, but still good, good defence. And also Marcus Alonso, he has shined on those, on days before. Um, now, going on to third, we have Tottenham. And Tottenham, I think, are comfortable with their team. They've got Harry Kane, Deli Alley, Christian Eriksen, Hummel Son... Olderville, Vertonghen, like, they're, I think they're comfortable with third. They finished fourth just last season because of the, on the last day, and Chelsea came third. But I think Tottenham coming third is, it's, it's pretty, like, a high chance, unless they sell somebody drastically, like, sell Harry Kane and Hungman's on and the moment they gets injured, oh crap, they're screwed. But that's not going to happen. Because they won't sell both the strikers. Um, now on to second, it's either Man City or Liverpool. And 
last season I put Liverpool then City. I was I was wrong. It was City to Liverpool. But this season I'm putting number two Liverpool, number one Man City. Man why I put Man City why I put them in their places is because Man City have signed Rodri, who is a really good midfielder from um, uh, Atletico Madrid. Who have Liverpool signed? They've signed Harvey Elliott, which is fair. But I think these could do. The these two could go either way. It's not. It's not set in stone, but these two could go either way, and frankly. Um, if a key player got injured for, see, so yeah, guys, I think if a key player got injured for Liverpool, say Salah or Mane, they don't have that a back, good backup. They have Shakiri, who's good, but he's not as good. And if Man City say Raheem Sterling got injured, they got Riyad Mahrez, um, and like they got the players. So that is my Premier League prediction. Oh, also top goal scorer, I'm putting Mo Salah because of his performances last season. Top assist, Trent Alexander Arnold. So that is my Premier League prediction video. And bye, guys.